as always, you asked, I'll answer. My name is Priscilla Elias and I'm one of the thousands of YouTubers and photographers who shoot lots of self-portraits. And maybe you as a photographer and or as a new YouTuber simply have no idea on how to pose or how to behave in front of the camera in order to look good. And you'd like to do that. Because yeah, there are some tricks that will help you to look better and more confident when you take your self-portraits. Today I'll share all of my tips and tricks with you. There's no secret to this. I'm just kidding, there are some. Otherwise this video would make no sense, right? There are some easy things you can do in order to look better for your self-portraits. As simple as that, maybe you naturally don't keep your back straight. In a relaxed position, you possibly look more like this. And the truth is, look how much this simple trick makes a difference. It makes you look more confident, makes you look fresh, makes you look so much better. This is one of the main things I'm careful about, not only when I'm taking self-portraits, but also when I'm recording videos or when I'm shooting someone else. Because most people are used to having their back like this. And if you simply bring your shoulders back, you will see a big difference in your self-portraits, no matter from what angle you shoot from. I've talked about this before and in fact I have an entire video where I talk in detail about finding the right direction of light for portraits, for which you will find a link up here and in the description in case you want to check it out after you watch this video. But in simple terms, if you're not sure on what to do, just know that if you face the light, the chances that you will look good are way bigger. Light is everything for portraits. This is how much of a difference a good and a bad light can make in a self-portrait. Here's a photo of me facing a source of light and the same portrait looking towards the shadow. Huge difference, huh? This might sound like a strange tip, but the truth is if you make small natural movements after every click, the chances you will get a beautiful natural looking shot are incredibly bigger. If you're standing for your shot, move forward and backward. If you're taking a profile shot, move your chin up, move your chin down, move a little to the left, to the right, look in different directions, cross your arms, put your hands on your chins, any movements. And while you move, take some different shots. This will help you to focus on the movement and as a result, you will get more relaxed, natural looking shots. You might be wondering, what about the 45 degree angle? Let's say that keeping your body in a 45 degree angle to the camera is a safe spot. Especially if you tend to feel like you look fat in photos, then you will love using this tip even more. Instead of facing straight forward like this, move your body a little bit to the side like this and you will for sure look thinner in your self-portraits. What? What is the best side? Maybe you don't even know you have a best side and it's okay if you don't. If you don't, what I can tell you is try it out. Is there a side of your face that you like best? A side you think that always looks better in photos? If so, try to explore this side a little bit more. Our faces are usually not symmetrical and we tend to have a side that makes us look our best. The angles will make the whole difference in how you look. For example, if you take your photo from the bottom with your camera facing up, you will make your legs, which are closer to the lens, look bigger. This might be nice, especially if you want to look tall. This angle makes us look stronger and tougher, but on the other hand, depending on how you pose your face, it's very easy for you to create a double chin, and this is something that will not make you look very nice. If you shoot from upside down, from up, up to down, up, how do you say that? I don't remember how to say that in English. Can you help me, please? You know what I mean? If you shoot like this, 
you will make your forehead and head look bigger, usually giving your photo a feeling of submission. Keep in mind that whatever is closer to the lens, especially if you shoot in wider focal lens, will look bigger. So unless you want your hand, your legs, your forehead, or whatever to look bigger, what I suggest is you position your camera straight at the level of your eyes. That is where you will have less distortion. Also, again, the wider your focal length, the bigger the distortion. So for example, if you take your photo with your iPhone with the ultra wide lens, which is the equivalent to a 13 millimeter wide, you will probably end up bringing the lens closer to your face in order to frame it well, and this is how you will look. On the other hand, if you use the telephoto lens on your phone, which would be an equivalent to a 58 millimeter lens, this is how you will look. Huge difference, huh? Same phone, similar distance, different lenses. You see how much distortion I get from the 13 millimeter ultra wide lens? This will happen not only to the lens of your phone, obviously, but to the lenses of your camera as well. As a matter of fact, the lens I most like for portraits is the 85mm, mainly because it usually makes people look their best for portraits, because its focal length is just perfect to avoid any considerable distortions to the face. So for half-body portraits, in 95% of the cases, this is the lens I go with. For full-body portraits, then sometimes I want to emphasize other things maybe a hand, a foot, the legs. So the distortion ends up being an artistic choice. But keep in mind that if you simply want to look your best, the angle and focal length will help you or break you for sure, depending on how you use them. Remember I just said that depending on the angle you're looking at, you will create a double chin? Well, this next step can help you to minimize that in any situations. Bring your neck forward, you see? Look like a turtle. In fact, I have the terrible habit of bringing my head back sometimes when I'm talking and this makes me look weird and double chinned. If instead I bring my neck forward, it makes my neck longer and it makes my double chin disappear. So if you're having issues with your double chin, try this tip out. It can be a game changer. Keep your arms separated from your body. As simple as that, if you squeeze your arms against your body, you will make them look bigger than they really are. So if this is happening to you, just bring them like from here to here and your problem is over. Don't be too hard on yourself, you know? The tip I gave you about moving a bit while taking the photos should help you to relax and being relaxed is very important to take good self-portraits. Why? Because we're all about emotions. If I'm tense, this will certainly show in the photos. So put some good music on and and spend some time taking some different shots. Sometimes to take one good photo, you might need to take 20, 30 shots, maybe even more. But the fact is, the more you do it, the faster you get, because then you know what to do. And when you're confident about it, it just gets a lot easier and faster every time you try it. As I said, if you've never done this before, or if you've done it without these tips in mind, it might take you some time to master it, but the fact is, just have fun doing it and shoot. Shoot a lot. I promise if you follow these tips I just gave you in combination with taking many shots, you will end up with some very beautiful self-portraits. And a final consideration that might be important to mention is don't stick to these tips. Try it out for yourself. Experiment. These tips are a start and they can definitely help you to get to great results. I use them all the time, for example, but experimenting is key also. You don't know yourself until you take time to explore yourself, right? And that's it. If this video helped you guys, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button. I hope you learned something useful today and if you did, please drop me a line down below. Also, if there's anything else specifically that you would like me to talk about in one of my next videos, 
please let me know also. I've been trying to slowly cover every topic you asked me to cover as I really want to help you with all I can. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching me. Have a great one and I will see you in the next video. Ciao!